Cheryl Reed recently had a, another press conference after the one where she basically called out the WNBA refs for her team not winning the WNBA championship. Well, now she went on another rant about how the league has changed and a player came in and successfully um, helped the league out with other rookies. But for one thing, she continues to not mention this one player, Caitlin Clark, and give her her credit that is due. So I don't know what's the problem with that, why she keeps trying to avoid really honoring her and, and really thanking Caitlin Clark for doing what she did. But for some reason, she does not want to do that. Check out what she had to say about this whole situation. For this video, we had to Indiana. The evolution of the league into the space that it got into in terms of the popularity, even before the season started, um, you know, when, when, when Caitlin Clark announced that she was going to enter the draft, I remember, obviously I'm connected to the business side, and uh, the the wave of enthusiasm that came from a player that wasn't even going to play for the Lynx. And, you know, we certainly knew some of the other players that were going to be in this draft. So there was a lot of excitement uh, and momentum for you know, the WNBA. But to see it actually translating business-wise across the league, across the league, um, whatever the reasons were, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot of, you know, um, as, as we all know, there's, there's you know, one really big reason and then there's a lot of other reasons why. Um, and I think the, um, the movement that we're in now, I think it's exciting. Um, I think that the, for me, one of my biggest takeaways from this season is what you just said with a number of times that I heard fans talking about being in bars, you know, in the Twin Cities and maybe not accustomed to the game, their willingness to put a game on, because that's a battle when we want, try to watch women's sports when we go into um, just a bar. It's, it's hard to find it or even a willingness to put it on. Uh, to learn the, the frequency with which the games were on, uh, sound, sound on, people gathering together, having watch parties, you know, as, as the season moved on and we were, you know, achieving the success that we were achieving, especially in the playoffs. Uh, the way the city uh, supported us um, in terms of, you know, signage, you know, throughout the, the city. And um, uh, unfortunately, no, the other teams didn't have that. They didn't. And that's a travesty when you think about it. And Jim Pete always said it. Man, people have no idea what they're missing. And we're going to look back on this and go, how in the heck? You know, but it happened in the NBA too. There's some great players that were, that were, you know, playing in front of 2,000 people back in the NBA back in back in the day. And so for me, that was a big thing, a big, um, a part of the identity of the season for the Minnesota Lynx was, as we know, you know, business-wise, one of the best years uh, that we've ever had. So I think we all can realize who she's talking about and this Caitlin Clark don't understand why she want won't mention Caitlin Clark and say that Caitlin Clark was the reason behind all the success she just continues to try to in my opinion downplay what Caitlin Clark has done in so many words saying you know one player but we knew other players in the draft and no it was one player that really set the standard and made the WNBA come from what it was to what it is now where they're on the verge of getting a brand new CBA contract. So it's just crazy that Cheryl Reeve continues to not try to give Caitlin Clark the credit that she deserves because we know without Caitlin Clark, this league is not what it is now. But once again, Cheryl Reeve, like she did at the beginning of the season, like she did for the Olympic team and like she's doing now, just refuses to acknowledge and give credit where credit is due and mention Caitlin Clark as the savior of the league. Bottom line, there's is no way around it. She is the savior of the WNBA. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe to the channel. Ouch.
I mean, I've never been to a place like this before, so... So in category... Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10! 